ever pondered how many of us humans can Earth actually sustain? Imagine our planet as a ship. Now every ship has its limits, a fixed amount of food, water, space, even air. That's the idea behind the planet's carrying capacity, the maximum population size that Earth can sustain without depleting its resources or causing environmental damage. But as our population grows and consumption increases, we're pushing these limits. So the question arises, are we pushing our planet beyond its carrying capacity? Sustainability is the key to maintaining the balance. It's a simple yet powerful truth that underscores our relationship with the Earth. Sustainability in essence is the art of balance, a delicate dance between consumption and regeneration. It's about responsibly managing our resources, ensuring we don't take more than what our planet can provide. Imagine a seesaw with consumption on one side and regeneration on the other. The goal is to keep this seesaw balanced, to ensure the Earth's carrying capacity is not exceeded. If we consume too rapidly without giving the planet time to regenerate, we risk tipping the scales. The balance becomes precarious, and our survival hangs in the balance. Sustainability, therefore, is not just a concept, it's a survival strategy. So, how does the carrying capacity of our planet connect to sustainability? Well, think of Earth like a ship. A ship has a maximum capacity, the number of people it can safely carry. If the ship becomes overcrowded, it will sink. Earth, too, has a limit to the number of inhabitants and the amount of resources it can sustain. Sustainability practices aim to maintain this delicate balance. They ensure that we're not consuming resources faster than they can regenerate. It's like making sure we're not adding more people to the ship than it can hold. We must respect these limits, not just for our own survival, but for the survival of all life on Earth. Remember, the survival of future generations hinges on how we respect the carrying capacity of our planet today.